welcome back guys. I'm Vladimir, again with a new product. Uh, as the lead product engineer, I wanna show you guys the new design that we got for the manual cars. This will fit for your 1997 to current Porsche, Porsches. And this is the second piece of the set. As we showed, seen before, those we had the gas pedal and then now this is for the manual cars. It's gonna be matching for the brake and then also for the, for the clutch. And so it has, it uses this mountain technology and uh, we got our patent pending right now going on, but it goes on. It's a quick and easy install. It's nobody's using it right now in the market. And so we're going to be the first ones and there won't be any hardware present or shown. And so we're really going to dive into showing the install process and really breaking down this, uh, this pedal. And up next we'll be doing the, the PDK, the PDK model. So for your manual transmission cars and also the dead pedal coming up soon. All right, so right here we have for the manual cars, this is going to be for the clutch or for the brake pedal. It's a one size fits all. If you have a Porsche from 1997 to present, this will fit your car. It goes with the gas pedal and the dead pedal coming up. And you can really see that we have no hardware showing on this surface here. And so that's something we take pride in here because no, no other aftermarket car parts or uh, car pedals uh, don't show any signs of hardware and even with this mount on when you mount it on you won't be able to see the mount and bracket at all either and so it has that nice finished black it's a uh, hard coat anodized so it's really scratch resistant and uh, it has that hex design for that grip it's also look at the size comparison for uh, compared to this is for your brake and for your clutch so you have that extra size right there and that extra grip compared to a stock one if I put the stock one over you can really get a feel for it and uh, the, what's really cool is the how that mounts nobody else is mounting their pedals right now like this and so we're the first and so it just shows how how quickly you can mount this and it only takes a couple of minutes as to uh, drilling your OEM parts and so now we'll be showing you how quick and easy it is to install our pedals all right so what you're gonna do is I like to do it first like this where I put the top two on just slightly but enough so that's threaded and so it's sent loose. Uh, we use uh, T25 Torx head screws on all, everything so we don't strip anything. And then also, uh, we don't have it right now, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be like an Allen key size. It's gonna be an L-shaped and it's gonna have that Torx head. So it's gonna come with every set. So you don't have to worry about uh, having the proper tools. It comes with every set. And so I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy it's, it is. So you take it, slide it right over your pedal, just like that. And then I uh, screw in the top two and then the bottom two. All right, so we're gonna demonstrate how to pop in these last two screws and uh, we'll show you how snug it really feels. So you get that OEM fitment. There's no fabrication or anything required. Again, I'm using this tool because I don't have the on key yet. So I kind of just do them all first before I really go snug. This one's probably where you're gonna need the key most. And this is a, a clutch pedal, but for the brake, it'll be just the same exact. So now I'm gonna start going a little more snug. So we've actually tested it where only two screws were holding on and, and it still sits nice and snug. So four is really overkill. You can, let me side by side, side. It's already snug, but. There you go. That's an install. All right, so we're about to do an install on an actual GT4 uh, 2020 and 718 Cayman. And we're gonna show you how quick and easy it is to actually put it in. All right, so if you can see right now, you can see that uh, OEM versus the one that's already installed on the brake. And you can see that thing's not going anywhere. And you can really see how the set's really coming together with 
with the comparison and to pop the stock one off it's a it's a rubber housing so you go and just pull it pull it off there's a metal clip to the bottom here so i would pull from the top down and that gets it and so i'm going to use that same method with having the two already slip, slipped in on the top so you get it in tighten the stock too so it don't get out you guys will have a wrench that's so gonna be a little easier. This thing's a little long for this back here. Just locating these. Bottom two. Now to get the bottom two, I like to just put it in. takes about five minutes to just really locate in the holes so you can see I have three in this thing's not going anywhere so but Need to go too tight. Feel them all. Yeah. And so there it is, the complete set with these two pieces on without the dead pedal yet. And you can just see that there's no hardware shown. It gives it that really nice look. It's not made out of some cheap metal, it's just out of aluminum. And just how quick and easy it was to install. It took me five minutes on one piece, five minutes on another piece. So under 20 minutes, you can have the whole set all ready to go there's no drilling you you can uh, if you don't want them you can take them off i don't know why you would and it doesn't there's no fabrication included it's just simple tools in which it comes with the keys for these two so all right and so thanks for taking a look at the new pedal set and thanks for watching see you again next time on uh, numeric racing <laughs>